Louise Jones is a pathologist who's helping to pioneer a brand new breast cancer tissue bank. She works with tissue that's been taken from cancer patients. Hi, Louise, I've got the tissue from Thursday. Before taking any samples for the bank, she carries out a routine diagnosis. So this is a, a fresh tissue sample from someone who's still in theatre? Exactly. So what's the process now? So the first thing that we're going to do is actually paint the surface of it. And the reason that we do that is that it marks the margins. Uh, so if any abnormality goes to paint, then we know that that is too close to the patient. So it's a marker? So it's a marker, okay. exactly. Okay. And so now what we have to do is actually cut it. Oof, this is the bit where I look away. What we're trying to ensure is that there's no tumour in here that we would have to alert the surgeon to straight away. Mm. So How's it looking? And it looks completely normal. Mm -hmm. There's no evidence for tumour in it. Um, so in terms of the, t in terms of the sort of tissue bank now, what's the, what's the next step? So we're still interested in keeping normal tissue in the tissue bank as a good control. So what we're going to do now is select an area that we can then freeze down. OK. So we just dissect out an area. And the idea is to freeze down very small pieces because they will freeze then very rapidly. And then, in fact, we actually put it onto uh, foil, just ordinary foil, because this allows us to freeze multiple pieces simultaneously. Okay. So now I'm going to just put this, immerse it into the liquid nitrogen, which we've okay. got in here. Which is super cold, so that's instantly freezing. Isn't Absolutely, it? yeah. And then Sally will um, transfer those pieces of tissue into small tubes, mm -hmm. um, which will allow us then to bank each piece of tissue separately mm -hmm. um, for a long-term storage. Right. Thankfully, this patient didn't have a tumour, but more often than not, Louise receives samples which do contain cancerous tissue. Yesterday, we had a case, a specimen from a lady who has got breast cancer. The yellow is the background fatty tissue, and this is the tumour, which you can see quite clearly, uh, a very pale, round tumour. I mean, just looking at that, I mean, is that considered to be a large tumour? This is a fairly large tumour, which obviously means that it's uh, possible for us to take additional tissue for research. At this point, I was starting to feel uneasy, thinking about this patient and, indeed, my own sister's condition. And then we need to take our specimens okay. back to the tissue bank. Can we go and see the tissue bank? Yes. Brilliant. The tissue bank is on another site, and Louise routinely walks samples through the streets of London. It's housed in a very unassuming building, simply known as the cryo shed. Oh, wow, it really is a shed. This it's, is uh, the cryo you, shed. When you said cryo shed, I didn't really believe the shed bit, but it's, uh, it's a shed. In this one small building, tens of thousands of samples can be stored. Here we are. It looks quite sort of low-tech. They're kept at a nippy minus 184 degrees and will only be defrosted when they're needed for vital research. How important is the tissue bank, this facility? It's going to make a difference um, because, ultimately, Anything that makes a difference has to be proven in tissue samples first.